Stephen Fike. Yeah. Anton. Anton. Uh, Morris Milligan. Yep. And Justin, Justin. Hopper. Hopper. Yeah. Helps a bit, I think. Yeah. No, you own bike for the. Yeah, got some big bikes are very hard to pick up. And they on a buddy. They look different in a navy blue uniform. Yeah. Especially when it's a bit dull, like it. Yeah. This is completely paper. Which uh, a flag in the bag or something. You're a bit cheeky. <laughs> you bloody good game, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Close enough, that happens. <laughs> yeah, well, that wouldn't have never been done, I don't know. We had three one year, but we really? never had four. <laughs> this part of it, this is even the crate. I didn't even know that they haven't even started when I was up there getting a beer. They were just one of those seven, seven points up. Better off up ice on that, right? Yeah, it's going to be commentating, eh? Yeah, don't be biased. <laughs> but towards Kapini? Yeah. <laughs> no. Never am, mate. Down here. Do that, big country. When you get puffed out, yell out. Just give me a bloody bump or something when you're ready to. And probably talk, both talk a bit in here. Yeah, I guess. Actually, it was pretty good when he used to have the yeah. schooner on this one. Well, you never come up and said that before the last two games. I'll tell you what, if you give me two, two schooners up the last two, I'll have one on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, don't bet him, he always loses to you, so don't yeah, go bet on him. He just won six back, he bloody near lost him. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> Good to introduce him. Yeah, welcome to uh, viewers to the 1990 three grand final between the Tumby Bay side and the Kapini side. Uh, Tumby Bay are going to be kicking to the northern end which is a slight assistant breeze, probably a couple of goals but, uh, if they use it properly. Now the first mounts comes down, it'll be Duffield and Marnie but Marnie gets to tap out the back. Gale should be first there but he drops it, picked up by Shannon, gets a handball out. Over to Code, taps it forward, Code recovers the ball, he's caught. Young Gale is in there. Spills the ground, picked up by Wren. Very scrambly passage of play, first up. Umpire comes in, says I'll have it, guys, and he will uh, rebound the ball on the half board line for Tumby Bay. Quite cool conditions for the, for the grand final. Ball goes up, Shannon gets a kick out, but it's true Darren Gar, his high kick, I think that's gonna be out in the full. So we kicked in by the Tumby player in Michael Harris. Harris on the half board line, still retrieving the ball. A few leads coming in, but he's going to ignore them. I think he's going to look for his full forward in Burton. Comes to the full forward area, Howells first there. High tackle there on Pike, but the ball comes free to Murphy. Murphy's high kick comes into the other uh, forward pocket. Higgins. Comes out to young Higgins. He's pulled away from the ball and he will receive a free kick. And he would be some 45, 50 metres out from goal, I guess. And this should be the first score of the game. Higgins, a youngster, very talented footballer. How long can you keep him here, Tom? Well, I think there's a fair chance he'll be in Adelaide next year, Mick. His, uh, his kick it goes to the right-hand side of the goalpost and the umpire said that's one point so that's the opening score for the game so Tumby Bay got the first score on the board one point to nothing Howells kicked back into play goes to the half-back line down on the ground Steve Myers was first there can't get the ball can't pick up scrambly passage of play umpire says that was a high tackle on Quentin Wren and he will relieve the pressure. A shocking kick from Wren. Gale's good enough to get the ball. Gets handball across to Pike. 
Steve Pake on the left leg goes to the centre wing, outer side, looking for Jeff Phelps, goes over his head, comes through a tumby player, Phelps still there, tapping the ball on to young Braden Gale, he is held without the ball, and the umpire says, yes, you'll have a free kick for that. Didn't have possession. Braden Gale, one of the young youngsters of the Capuni side this year, played all his, uh, all this year in A grade, had a, an injury first few games, but uh, his kick goes up to the full forward area. Julian Dowdle can't pick it up. Mick Maney picks up, got the fumbles, gets a good handball out to Jeff Phelps on the left leg. Goes out to uh, Tonic Peddler, he drops it. Tumby player comes through off the ground. Another scrambly passenger player. Tumby player held and not in possession there, I thought. Comes to the captain and Tom coach, I mean, in Tom Phelps. Out to the half forward line. And it's Braden Gale who kicks the ball up into that forward line where it spills out of bounds for a throw in. Take away, Tom. In the back pocket or forward pocket for Capinian attack, right forward flank. Throw in now. Peddler goes up, takes hold of the ball, hooks the kick around, and it's gone out of bounds about five metres around from the point post. Capinian to attack. <laughs> Throw in now, it'll be Duffy against Tonic Peddler. Ball comes around, Paul Parsons is forced over the bound once again. Overcast day, throw in again, Noblet against Phelps. Ball's pushed free, Richardson in front, kicks it off the ground towards Shannon. Picked up by Richardson, he's knocked off the ball. Noblet in front, it's a quick handball out to Tom Phelps. The ball is touched off the boot, across to Myers. Take in there again. Capini take control, Nelligan, Morris Nelligan. Across to Gale, snap in towards full forward. Peddler goes up the ball, he can't take it. It's knocked on to Julian Dowdle, he snaps for goal. That unlucky bounce and it goes through for a point to the right hand side. Capini doing all the attacking at the moment. That uh, takes a score to one point each. Steve White for Tummy, the fullback, oldest player for their side. Kicks down the middle, it's a high kick. Joe Cross comes in, takes a very good mark, it's in half back, plays on quickly, he's a good kick. Looking for Higgins, can't find him. Nisbet it is, it's Myers, knocked the ball clear, good play by him. Back to, back to Higgins. It's a high kick. Nobody in particular, Max Pake under the ball and takes a good saving mark on the wing. Looks to the middle now to Marnie. Takes an easy mark on a pose. Looks straight down the middle. Marnie all by himself. Bit of loose checking there. He looks short. Good spore by White on Grabber Peddler. Ball's knocked out to the half back flank. Finney player in front. Down he goes. Shannon's been infringed in the back and he'll take the free kick from the half back flank look short to Tom Phelps in the middle now takes a good mark back around onto his left foot looks wide to the wing to Richardson he's under the hammer good spoil by Martha Marnie and the ball goes out of bounds on the wing right in front of the crowd throw in now Duffield against Marnie Marnie makes front position Carl it is, he knocks the ball out. Be another throw in. Slight drizzle at the moment. Duffield in front. Ball over to Nisbet, he can't take it. Craig Myers it is, keeps the ball in play. Richardson pick, can't pick it up, slippery. Across to Phelps. He can't get it up over the top of the ball. Carl it is, in towards full forward. Allowed none of the ball, but good spoil there by Anton Peddler. And Crabber has a snapshot on his left foot and only one point. Across to you, Mick. So Capini take the lead. They've got two points, two Tumby one. Not a lot in the game at the moment. White's kick in, goes to Joey Cross. Takes an easy mark on his own. Beautiful football of this guy. Nice kick out to the centre wing. And it goes to uh, Mike Harris. He plays straight on. Comes down to code. 
He will mark, no, drops it. Quinton Wren recovers. Caught in behind. Over to Gale. Over to Dowdle. Dowdle at centre wing. Up to Mick Maney. Drops it. And he pays the mark. He shouldn't have paid that. He anticipated the mark and uh, dropped. His kick goes across to Steve Pake. Steve Pake plays a straight on, up into the goal square. Uh, Loudon was knocked away. Yeah, knocked away by the time he played Loudon. Comes across to Paul Parsons. Couldn't get the kick to it. He's well tackled by Laurie on that occasion. Comes out to Milky Richardson, gets a quick hand pass, goes straight to Kapini Plath. Steve Pake comes into the open goal on the left leg, and there's the first uh, major of the game, kicked by Stephen Pake of Kapini. Yes, good tackle by the Kapini player there, and upset Richardson handball, and uh, that mistake cost a goal. <laughs> Pretty handy goal against the Breeze too, Mick. Yeah, that's a bonus, that one. I, I guess, I guess the, the scoring end would be the northern, northern end. It would be a slight breeze going that way. I guess it would be a couple of goals. Anyhow, back in the centre of the ground. Martha Marnie against uh, Matty Duffield. Marnie gets the knock. Goes straight to Joey Cross. Cross the long kick down to centre half forward. This to uh, uh, Harris has pushed out the road. Cross to uh, David Dowdle who uh, rides the mount well, but he's got one behind. He kicks the ball hurriedly. Comes to Braden Gale. Braden Gale over the, screws the ball around to his centre wing area. Comes to Tom Phelps. It's got there by uh, Murphy. Murphy's kick goes straight into uh, the safe arms of uh, Bren. Bren's left leg comes up to the centre of the ground. Noblet and Phelps. Noblet's got the ball. Good football, this guy. He's caught this time, though. He gets good enough to get the handball across to Code. Code's kick goes up to the full forward area where there's a hustle on here. It's yeah. Is he going to be paid the mark? Kick off the ground under the uh, pressure there, but Marty taps it through and uh, <coughs> Tumby get another point. So the score of 1-2 one, one, to Penny to two points to the Tumby Blues. Slight drizzle now at the uh, Cummins Oval. It's going to make things a little bit sticky. Very cool conditions. Alan Howe, the veteran. 20 years of senior football, pretty good effort. Kicks the ball back in. Comes to the half-back line. Players will fly for it. Players jostling for it. Tap over by young Gale. Out to Renz in the path. Will he be good enough to pick it up? But yes, just in play. Shannon's still in play with it. Good play, Phil Shannon. Has a little bit of a run. Poor kick, though. Goes down to the board area where it's Hopper Marty. Gets a kick, comes straight back here. Same players contested again with Shannon, Shannon and uh, Braden Gale, but the ball forced out of play. <laughs> On the half forward line for Tumby Bay. Good knock there by uh, Tumby, but goes straight to Steve Pake. Up to Phelps. Phelps, Nobbitt's giving him plenty of pressure. Jeff Phelps this time good enough to get a kick. Up to the youngster and Julian Dowdle. Takes a good strong mark at the centre half forward position. Dowdle plays on quickly. Looking for Crabber Peddler, right close to the uh, boundary line. White, right on his hammer. Comes back out to the uh, half, line, half forward line for Kapini. That's Loudon, I think. Loudon it was, Noblet. Comes to Noblet. He'll try and get back onto his left leg. Awkward looking kick, but very effective. Comes up to Duffield Perricher, he doesn't want it. Comes through to Craig Myers. Craig Myers keeps the ball out in front of him for Braden Gale, who's been very good in this game so far. Up to centre half forward with Jeff Phelps. Gets on his right leg. Up to pass as he can't hold the mark. It's by uh, Laurie. Laurie's done very well to keep the ball in front of him. Laurie was. And good play. It gets to Nobbit's handball. Picked up by Young Gale again. His kick goes into the full forward area. White fists away over the line for throw in. At, uh, right on the uh, point post for the Kapini <laughs> forward line. There we go, Tom. Throw in now. Phelps gets the knock, knocks it to the front of the pack. Peddler has a snapshot and it dribbles through for a goal. Tumby going to have to do something. Kapinia right on top, kicking into this breeze. We've got to make use of it. It's been a scoring end all day. I'll need to rally from here. Kapinia attacking from the half back line on that occasion. And resulting in a good goal. Back to the centre bounce once again. 
Schofield against Marnie. Marnie gets a tap, but taken by Cross. He's slung without the ball, and he'll receive a free kick right in the middle of the ground. He normally uses the ball straight down the centre, the centre half forward position. But Howell comes out unopposed and takes the easiest of marks. He'll look wide to the outer, outer wing. Looking for Dowdle, he makes front position, he's pushed out and he'll receive the free. Dowdle with the ball now. Good young player, he played well last time these two sides met. A wobbly sort of a kick, looking for Jeff Phelps, he marks easily. He's playing well at the moment, he's in everything. Under his left boot, ball lounges in front. Penny Plara there, I couldn't pick him out. Bang. Danny Boylan it was. Bit of a scramble now, knocked out by Capini. Tom Phelps it is with a run of the ball, taps it on. Ooh. He's lined up, almost <laughs> a collision there. Tapped out, he's pushed in the back. It's Dowdle again, he'll receive the free. Didn't have the ball. Looks to the centre this time. Towards Phelps, but Richardson comes through. Soccer's off the ground, it's a good long kick to Code. He drops what he should have marked. Plays on now. With a rin on the ground, he can't get it out. Eventually gets it out to David Dowdle onto his left foot. Goes wide. Danny Ballen. Danny Ballen takes it just inside the boundary on the outer wing. Plays on quickly. Loudon knocks the ball away there from Anton Pedler. Crumbs taken there by Tumby. And it's forced over the boundary line. Come on, Tumby, fire up. <laughs> Throwing again, outer wing. Tuffwood in front, he gets the tap to cross. He's playing well at the moment. With Code, he's made front position. Could have almost Ooh, received the free then. On the ground, scramble. Knocked out by Gavin Dunn. Nisbet has a shot for goal. He's been knocked after he's delivered the ball and the free kick will go back to Nisbet, I should say. He was pushed after he, he kicked the ball. He'll shoot from about 40 metres out, slight angle. Normally a good kick, and uh, I'd back him from here. And Tommy could do with this goal badly. He lines up now. On some trading. Good kick off the boot. Umpire moves across a bit, but I think he's got it. Yeah. Yes, that's an answering goal there to Tommy. Scores to Finney 2-2 two, two to 1-2. Two. Back to you, Mick. So uh, Tumby are on the board, they got the one two. They still trail the Kapini boys two two. So Nisbet's uh, kick was a goal. So that's just what Tumby be looking for. It's taken them nearly 15 minutes to get it. One a few but, quick ones now, Mick. Yeah, I would say that that uh, would be the scoring end. It's been the scoring end all day, so that's the end, they're going to have to kick goals, but I suppose there's nothing to stop them from kicking into this. It's not a, it's not a real strong breeze, but Steve Pate receives a kick from, from the defensive side of centre. Cup to Phelps over the back, Manny slips over the crucial time, but it'll be Nobler, picks it up, has time to have a look, but it's straight to Braden Gar. He's playing a fine game, this youngster. His he's kick got, goes up to the half forward line. He's got too much pace for Shannon, they should make a move there. Yeah. His kick goes to uh, centre half on the half forward flank, and that's Jeff Phelps, the ex-Port Adelaide boy. So he's plenty of experience here. His kick goes straight up to the full forward area. Tonic Peddler and uh, Tumby Player fly for it. No one can get it. Tapped out, thrown out. In fact, so the umpire said that was a throw. So the Tumby Player in Duffield, I think, yep. receives that free kick. Duffield just about at full back, kicks it up to uh, Tumby into Franks. Here's Hurry, kicks out of centre wing. Craig, uh, Steve Myers in front takes a good solid mark. Play on. Comes up to centre half forward. Phelps and Noblet. Good mark, Noblet. I think he might have caught one behind the ear too. So, uh, and away he goes. <coughs> good kick to uh, the attacking side of centre. Harrison Dowdle. Harris gets a kick across the ground, but it's all Capini. Comes back to Tumby Player. No one seems to want to pick it up. Shannon. Shannon picks it up now up to Harris. Harris gets a hurry kick to the half forward line. Marnie taps away from Nisbet. Goes to the boundary line. Who's going to be first there? Marnie kicks it off the ground. 
and it's uh, out between half board and forward pocket for the Tumby area. Get out, Scott, you lunatic. Very cool conditions. Code it is from the ruck. Goes to uh, Wren. Wren's kick goes to Dazzler. Gale. Gale's kick goes straight up to Higgins, I think. Yep, Higgins. And his kick split, gets across to Tom Phelps. Joe Cross was there. He was held, I thought. Play on, says the umpire. Frank's again in there. David Dowdle picks it up. He's going to be collared. No one can seem to want to pick it up. Duffy comes in for a health assistance, but it's David Dowdle. Picks up the ball as a player out here on his own in Mick Maney. He's going to get it there. Paul behind him. Picks the ball up. Centre wing. Hurry kick up to Paul Parsons. And it's knocked away from him by Lurry. <laughs> so it's a throw in on the half forward line for Kapini now. Desperate, Tumby. Desperate. Catch the ball! Sabi Duffield against Phelps here. No one seen when Cumby might have won that one. Comes to Parsons, he's caught. Good tackle by Laurie then. Comes to uh, Noblet. Noblet's poor kick goes straight off the side of the boot. The middle, behind. Come. Sabi free kick to Darren Gale.
Waiting for it to happen. Stay with him, Phil. Get in there. Let him chase you, Phil. He's a key player for Tumby in this. Each time he gets involved in the game, he brings other players into it. Cross was the one that started it with a good snap. Back to the centre now. Stuffield against Anton Pedler. Tap to nobody. Tom Phelps knocks it out. Capini knock it forward. Higgins the run of the ball. He's tackled by an elegant thrown. And yes, he's thrown without possession. And the free will go to him. Half back position. Kicks over the centre line. But it's Dowdle, I think it is. Showing too much pace. Bit of a hold up and play here, but he's going to take him back over his mark. He'll look for Phelps at centre half forward. He does, but he's closely guarded by Noblet. Duffield goes up, should have taken that. He had to jump. Warner on the ground, he can't get it. Craig Franks snaps around the body towards Anton Pedler. He has trouble controlling it. Well tackled, great tackle there by Cross. Crowd yells holding the ball, but it's knocked out of his hands. Kicked off the ground by Gavin Dunn. Nisbet in it, it's uh, an elegant it is, picks it up, nice little kick around there looking to, to Gale. Shannon, Tom, Tom Phelps tries to kick off the ground, can't, picks it up now on his left foot, he's well tackled again by Gale. Goes in again, another tackle, a scrambly passage of play, Phelps again, good, good effort, good effort, bad luck. Went out on the full. Good effort by Tom Phelps then, but he, he never had much help and uh, the ball just went out on the full over the boundary line. Hand on peddler loose here. Ball well delivered into him there. Half back Frank. That's a bad kick straight to Shannon. Holds the easiest mark on the pose. He looks to the centre. Looking for Cade. He's interfered with. The ball taken away. Wren falls to the ground. Cade gets the handball out to Franks. He's tackled. He's too slow to get rid of it. But unfortunately for Capini and fortunately for Craig, he was tackled too high. And he'll shoot for goal from 45 metres. He's usually a pretty good kick. Virtually no angle. The goal here would level the scores. You can get all sorts of abuse about the middle. <laughs> Concentrating now. <laughs> it's a good looking kick off the beat. I think he's got it. He split the centre. And that's live in the game up. Three goal, two each. Back to you, Mick. Yeah, that was good footy by the tummy side. They're, they're a bit more desperate in the last uh, 10 minutes. Played probably 26, 7 minutes of this first quarter. Very desperate stuff by their coach and Tom Phelps out here a moment ago, and he's uh, he certainly leads by example. This guy, the ex Capini player, he was certainly one of their favourite sons out in the Capini territory, and uh, I guess uh, it was a great loss to see him go. But Capini's loss is Tumby's game, where Cross gets the ball out of the centre square. Michael Harris drops what he should have taken, knocked on by Craig Harris. Another tie tackle there, Kevin Nunn and, and Gunn will. Uh, to take the kick, Humbly 65 metres from goals. Done the captain. Look for a short pass, goes straight to Stephen Myers, but he drops out, doesn't he? That was shocking football all round. Taken away by Neil Marnie. Out to the centre wing area where it's Morris Nelligan takes the lead and beats that player over the boundary line. So it's centre wing, probably just the attacking side of centre. Outer side on the Tumby. Attacking line. Players go over. Tom Phillips gets a good hand pass across to Cross. Across to uh, Joey Cross, and it's a booming kick into the full forward area. It's Howe gets uh, a long handball. Michael Harris picks up, snaps around the shoulder, and uh, kicks it out in the full. So he could have steadied a bit, and it wasn't under a lot of pressure then. So uh, Craig Myers kicks the ball back in. He kicks it straight to Shannon. Very bad, poor, poor kick. Bad kick, that one. Yeah, and Shannon goes straight into the centre of the ground. Stephen Pakes there, it's picked up by a cross. He snaps it. I think he might be just off line. And uh, umpire indicates one point. He's a fine player, this Joey Cross. He seems to, have, seems to have a lot of time to to get rid of the ball, Tom. Yeah, very skillful. He, one step and he can deliver the ball normally pinpoint accuracy. Very good with his hands too, Mick. Yeah, he certainly didn't even take one step then he just sort of kicked it on the picking it up and kicked it in the same motion 
However, the ball was brought back in, kicked off the ground by Code. Steve Miles will be first there. He can't bend down far enough. He gets a kick in front of him. So going to beat him to the boundary line. Gets, just keeps the ball in play where Neil Marty gets a handball across over to Morris Nelligan. Another handball to uh, Boylan, back to Marnie. Has to get rid of it this time in a hurry. Comes down to David Dowdle, gets a handball, misses that play, goes to a Tumby player, in fact. Higgins. Higgins, and it comes down a bit scrambly on the outer side. I think it's going to be a, a ball out, and uh, um, umpire will throw it back in. So scores are Tumby 3-3 three, three and the Capini 3-2, so they're just the one point in it. David Dowdle comes away with the ball. About centre half back, comes across to uh, Braden Gale, who's having a fine game. Cross, Craig Moore hits the ball on, but Nob is going to be there, kicks straight off the ground. Comes to Danny Ball and Nisbet. But uh, Nob backing up that play, beautiful. Awkward looking kick, I think he's going to drill this one, it looks all right from here. That was, uh, that was, that was uh, recharge the batch of this Tumby side, so they hit the hit the front by seven points. Good footy that time. He's a real goal, this Nobler. That was a one-man effort then from centre-half back. He intercepted the ball with a kick off the ground. He followed the play up, busted his way through the pack, and if that doesn't lift the side, nothing ever will. <laughs> yeah, well, it certainly brought the crowd to life anyhow. So the ball is back in the centre. So Tumby got that seven-point lead. Shouldn't be too much time left in this quarter. So we Duffield against Marnie. Duffield this time gets tapped straight to Nisbet. Out to cross. Cross on the left foot. Centre half forward. Code and Wizard in. Tapped away from him. Code recovers again. Cross to his coach and Tom Phelps. Cross to Harris. To Shannon. Back to Harris. Harris has got time to kick a goal again. I think he has. Right on the siren. I believe it's a goal. Yeah, well done. Well, that was a good finish to the quarter by Tumby. I thought Capini were on top for probably two-thirds of that quarter into the breeze. But two or three quick goals in the, in the last five minutes that's, that's opened this game wide up. Um, anything can happen in the, in the next quarter. The, uh, the, the breeze would only be worth a couple of goals, and that's the difference at, at quarter time. So a good finish off to that quarter. Well, the start of the second quarter, umpire bounces the ball, it's Marnie in against Duffield, Duffield gets a tap to Nisbet, good handball across to Tom Phelps, over to Cross, he can't handle it, it was slightly behind him, picked up by Wren onto his left foot, looks in for Phelps, he's in the back, oh, well spoilt there by Noblet, he's playing well on Jeff Phelps, and again back to Fred Higgins. The committee player Gale in front. Shannon fights half of the ball. It's a bit of a scramble. It's out to uh, Dar Darren Gale. He makes front position onto his left foot, looking for someone now. Kicks it towards half forward. Noblet bumps him out of it and takes a good mark. Saving half ma mark. Half back flank. Looks for someone now in the outer wing. That awkward kicking style, but accurate. <coughs> Duffield can't control it. Gets hold of it now, tries to push his opponent away, and he's tried to do too much, and he's been pinged for holding the ball by Martha Marnie. Umpire calls play on, Gale has it. Cramley passage of play, they call holding the ball, but the umpire will come in to bounce, pin his half forward right flank into attack. Anton Peeler goes for the tap, gets it down. Laurie first to the ball, kicks it right across goals. Well and truly right across goals. I think it's out on the full. Not a very good kick under pressure, but that's finals football. There's only be five metres around. Left forward pocket. Experienced captain coach, Crabber Peddler. 
It'll be a very good kick to get it from here. He's on a very tight angle. He's kicked a lot of goals this year. He's looking for, for options, but I think he's going to have a shot. He's gone wide. It's off the side of his boot, I should say. And just sneaks in for a point. He takes Capini along the three goal three. Trailing Tumby by goal four at the one minute mark of the second quarter. Steve White to bring the ball in. In case of that outer side, it's a good looking kick out. Looking for Duffield. Nisbet taps it forward, it's knocked back by Marnie. Duffy goes for the boundary. Paul Parsons there, and he can't beat. The ball beats him over out of the, uh, across the line. Thrown in once more. Noblet goes through it. Posed by Phelps. Chris Laurie picks it up. Crapper Laurie. Marnie Liz takes it. High looking kick in towards centre half forward. Phelps from over the back, spoils Noblet. Picked up by Gale. Good long handle, but it's badly directed. Steve White first to the ball. And he goes for the boundary line. And once again pushes the ball over. Good defensive play there by Steve White. Throw in once again. It's Duffield against Marnie. And Phelps it was. Cross takes control of the ball. Kicks it wide to that outer half back flank. Brett Higgins leads the race of the ball. He's tripped. And he will receive the free. Thought the umpire was going to let it go there, but Brett Higgins undecided, goes towards the centre now. Looking to cross, he's in everything. He had 11 kicks the first quarter. Magnificent player. Crossed to Nisbet. He goes towards the centre. Michael Harris, he can't mark it. Kicks around his body. Skulls Howe first of the ball. Well, well taken. Harris and Elegant it is. He takes the ball. Well backed up by Howe. He can't take it now. Kevin Dunn, handballs over, good handball to Tom Phelps. Well picked up by Phelps on his left foot, undecided, handballs across the cross. He'll go long towards the centre. Oh, to Burton. Yes. yes. He plays on quickly to Murphy, and this will be a run in goal. That was great football there. <laughs> best, best passage of play by the Tumby side today, Mick, I thought. Yeah, that, that started down here on the wing. Skulls, uh, Howe had to come down. He, uh, he followed the ball down. He kept the ball in and it was taken away by the Tumby player. And uh, uh, Tumby sort of had one player spare up there and uh, that was good play by Burton to get the ball across to Murphy to kick that goal. So Capini are going to have to uh, make a change or two here if they want to nullify some of these attacks from the Tumby because they're back on top. Back in the square. Marnie against Duffield. Duffield gets the tap. Duffield gets a handball out to Cross, who is dominating in the centre. Comes to Phelps. This is Tom Phelps, coach at Tumby side. Left leg up to uh, the half forward line, where it's David Dowd who takes the ball away. Steve Pate gets a long handball across to Justin Marnie. Justin Marnie sinks the slipper into this one, gets plenty of distance. Came down to Phelps, but it was knocked away by Nobbit, who's had the better of Phelps, I would say, at this stage. And the ball is forced out over the line for another throw in between oh, the half forward and the centre wing for the Capini side. Phelps against Duffield. Phelps knocked and he uh, chases his own tap on. And I think he gets a receiver high tackle there. So Jeff Phelps <coughs> around about the half forward flank, lining up from probably 40 metres out. Probably on the right uh, side to kick this because he's a natural left legger. Yeah, I've seen him kick these before, Mick. I hope he misses this one. Yeah. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> he's, he's kicked a lot of goals and he's since he's been playing for Capinio, he's missed a lot too. So here he comes, kicking in. I think he might have just uh, snuck that one in. Yes, yeah, so uh, that goes for his second goal. So Capinio come back, just that touch, but they're still behind by two goal one at this stage. Mr Higgins picks up nicely, gets a hurry kick up to the full forward area. Players came out, I think that's Murphy. Murphy. Come away with David Dowder, gets a handball out to Braden Gale. Gale will have to kick it because he's getting run, he's getting uh, run down. He, lucky enough, gets a kick in. High leap there by Maney. Good enough to get a handball, but misses the player. Tumby players go through. A couple of swings and the swishes there, but I don't think anyone connected one. Ball comes into uh, Tom Phelps. This guy gives 110% every game he plays. Richardson. Richardson goes up to Shannon area. 
Can Shannon pick it up before it goes out of bounds? He's tackled. A bit too high, says the umpire. So Shannon will take another free kick on the Come outer side of the Cody. ground. Plays on quickly. Comes into the full forward area. Taken up by Harris. I think he's going to yeah. be played the mark. Play on. No. Umpire says, bring her back, boy. So Michael Harris will have to have a kick himself. Yeah, fairly big lad, Michael Harris. And uh, very hard to uh, get him out of the road. Yes, he went off injured in the game last week, Mick, but he, he's come back looking pretty good today. He's had a good day so far, coaching the Colts to a, a victory, and I'm sure he'd love to, to be part of one in the A grade. Well, the Tumby side have had a very well, Tumby bait. Club have had a pretty good day so far. They've, they've won two premierships today, plus their mini league have won the the Shield throughout the year. And uh, if they take this one off, it will be, certainly be a record to have four premierships and four flags in your club. We'd love to see it. Back to the play now, and uh, Michael Harris will take the kick. I think it might be a little bit beyond him with that kicking into that breeze, but if he gets onto it, he'll go close. Uh, the ball's going to fall just short in the square. Players fly, soft hands. Nisbet first to the ball. Good play by him, ran onto his right foot. No, it's a point. Very good effort from there, though. Just, just fades to the right. Tumby doing the attacking. Skulls held short little kick out now to Max Pake in that back pocket position. Real steady, very experienced footballer. Little short chip shot. That, that's good. Good play over to David Dowdle. Another promising young player. He's looking. They're trying possession football here. Dowdle goes wide at half back flank. Sluice checking there across to Marnie. Good play by Capini. Moving well to the space. He goes down on past the wing now. Warner it is. Picks the ball up across to Shannon. Kicks a high ball in towards Code. Ducks his head, but he's been paid the free. Benefit of getting front position. It's a high looking kick in the ball, Michael Harris. He's pushed out of it. But Burton comes through and takes a timely mark. Plays on quickly now. But it's uh, fully directed. Cross will see it. No, it's played on. I thought he was a bit high then. Well tackled by Rin. He'll clear the ball for Capini. Over the top, Duffield it is raving, the Ruckman. Back to Tom Phelps. Good tap out there by Duffield. Phelps onto his left foot. Tom, that is. Michael Harris, that's a really good mark. Only 20 metres out, straight in front. Michael, probably not the most accurate of kicks in front of goal. He, he, forgive me for saying that, I think, but days like these when you, when you pull them out. So the mark was worthy of a goal. Lines up now. Oh it's a good looking kick, he's, put, he's split the centre, that's a very good goal. And uh, at the moment, Tumby Bay are looking on top, Mick. Yes, Tumby's certainly playing the best football at this stage, uh, Tom. So that's Harris's second goal. Like I said, he's a big boy, but I think Capini might have to make a change. I don't know if it's, it's come yet. I think, uh, yes, I think. Crabber's come back to centre half back. I think Wizza is going to go to a wing. No, he's on a half back flank. <laughs> Just can't pick up who's at full forward at this stage. However, back in the square, tapped on by the Tumby player, cross, beautiful handball to Shannon. Gets a kick up to centre half forward. Nisbet standing on his own, takes an easy mark. Busy little fella, Nisbet. His kick goes to the lead of Burton. Burton, the big boy, full forward. Yeah. Yeah. Umpire said it's a little high, so he will take a direct shot at goal. Probably 35 metres out, which wouldn't be a, a great uh, distance for a, a guy of his ability. Yes, the umpires are deadly on the, the man in front today. They're playing the man in front on every occasion, and that's why Burton received that free kick. There wasn't a lot in it, but he had front position. And uh, the umpires have been consistent on that so far. Yeah, Peter Burton lines up for his second goal, is it? I think she's just a, a shade to the right, this one. And the umpire indicates one point. Yes, he chipped at that ball rather than kicking through it. He, he had a bit of a dicky knee, but normally he would have got a goal from that distance. 
Howell kicked out now. Code intercepts it. There's a bit of a dicey kick from there. Capini get out of it to Howell again. He kicks along to that outer flank. Well sport by Shannon. Fedler it is first to the ball. Traps it well around to his right foot. Kicks it long on boundary and a good falling mark by Richardson. He looks to the pocket. Pace of Murphy in front. Well sport. Marnie, I think it was. Shannon. Good handball back to Murphy. He's a very good kick, this lad. Uh, tapped over the line. Craig Franks, it was the tummy, and tapped over there. Finney Flower punched the ball through for a point. Once again, Howell straight down the centre of the ground this time, looking for Max Pake. He, he gets rid of Tom Phelps with a good hip out. Good battle here between Jeff Phelps and Noblet. Noblet on top at this stage, I would say. Well played by Pake again. He has the ability to lift in big games. And it's a very good, very good pass by Max Pake and to David Dowdle in the forward pocket. He'll go in towards the goals. I thought he was going to go across the centre. Oh, that's an excellent kick from there. Yeah, great, great kick by David Dowdle. A couple of kicks like that that's keeping them in the game at the moment. One from Jeff Phelps and now another one equally as good from David Dowdle. That takes a score along Tumby Bay 7-5. Capini 5-3, nothing in it. Yeah, Capini made the change. They brought David Dowdle down to full forward. Headless centre half back. And they brought Yeah, Ren is back on his wing. So I think they've made the wise choice here. And I think you'll find the game will open up a little bit more now. Umpire has a crook mount, so he recalls it. It went straight to Tom Phelps, and then he would have uh, he would have driven his boot into it if he'd been allowed to. However, rebounds goes straight back to him anyhow. Having a few problems bouncing the ball here at the stage. And he's getting a lot of advice from the crowd, especially the tummy guys. Yeah. Yeah. So the umpire concedes, and throws the ball, it goes straight to Dan Dunn. His hurry kick goes up to the centre half forward position where it's code out in front. Nisbet picks the ball up, kicks it into the centre half forward position where it's Craig Myers takes the handball off. The Dale comes down to centre ground over the back. Mick Maney will be first. Is it going to sit up for him? Yes. Gets the handball across to Julian Dowdle. What's he going to do? Passes on to, to Mark Marty. Straight into the open goal, and there's a, a good passage of play. Yes, Tumby made the mistake there. Both players went for the ball instead of the shorter player staying staying down. And uh, it left the loose player there for Capini and they ran the ball in with no opposition and all of a sudden this game's nothing in it, only one goal. Actually, it's been very good standard, Tom. It very good, a, very good so far. Oh, it's been very played in pretty good spirit. Pretty good open, good open football. Hardly a scrap at all at this stage. So they're back in the square with Tumby still got that seven point lead. Bounce down. No one seems to get the bounce. Come players punching into it. Steve Pate comes away. It gets a hurry kick down to the half forward line. Julian Dowdle couldn't take the mark. Comes to Parsons. He's fallen over. Everyone's falling over. An umpire says, uh, I'll bounce it, boys. Once Phelps is on the ground, he. Uh, he was going to hold the ball in that position anyhow. Oh, no, the right. breeze has picked up again, Mick. Steve, Steve Pake has come into the game in the last 10 minutes. That's why Capini have got back into it, I think. Yes, and uh, the ball plays. Still scrambly oh. passage of play here at the centre half forward position for Capini. Yep. Probably a good move, that one, putting Peddler back to centre half back. <laughs> he will certainly open the game up, mark my word. Ball bounce, comes to Dunn, he drops it. Players throwing themselves in at it. Steve Pake down, his ball is picked up by Franks. He loses the ball. Comes across to uh, player Tumby Play, gets the ball up to the centre wing area. Comes to Myers, he drops it. Code's there. Comes to Loudon, is it? Franks. Franks. Ball up to cross area. Has plenty of time, gets to Shannon. His dribbly old kick goes to the half forward line where it's uh, Harris met heavily there by Marnie. But uh, young Murphy's got the ball. Oh, Shannon. 
East Court. What's he going to be? High? He holding the ball. He ducked. They all said holding the ball, but... He ducked. I think that's why he gave it. Right. Comes to the centre wing area. Tom Phelps drops it. He's still there. He will pick it up. Doesn't want it. Comes to Dunn. Dunn into the true centre half forward position. Marnie. Cross drops it. No one seems to want it. Everyone's coming in half-hearted. Ball comes to the centre of the ground, but Duffy was standing there on his own. Should mark this one. Easy. Bad news for Tumber here. Cross has gone down with a... Oh my looks God. like a leg injury. That would be certainly bad luck if... Uh, Duffy will back with the ball. He kicks it in towards centre half forward. Michael Harris takes a good strong mark. Uh, Tumby certainly can't afford to lose Cross because he's been there prime mover at this stage. Looks like a corky. Don't take any crap, Norman. Meanwhile, back to the plate. Michael Harris with the ball. He's too far out to score. Hey, hey, hey. The ball will land right in the square, though. And Burton oh. flies high. He didn't quite take it. Off hands. Marnie. Marnie it is. He kicks wide. Elegant will be first to the ball. Takes a good mark. In front of Higgins. Good duel, these two, so far. Gavin Dunn behind. Knocks the ball away from Myers. Higgins picks it up. Kicks it in towards the centre. Burton over the top of Crabber Peddler. He was in the space. Hand on Peddler it is. Good tackle by Nisbet. Picked up by Marnie. Cross to uh, Gail it is. Onto his left foot. Richardson in front. Should mark. He does. Ready to play on, but he was uh, well tackled there. Well held. Looking for someone. A leads. He goes in towards Michael Harris at centre half forward. Ball knocked away from him. Shannon in front. Has to be quick. Cross to Tom Phelps. This is a good looking kick. I don't think it'll quite reach it, but Burton. Burton takes. No, it's, uh, Burton took the mark, but the umpires paid it for a push and it's gone to Kapini. Skulls Howell does a short little chip kick. And on Peddler takes the mark. Safe mark. Two Kapinis loose here. Myers. We'll take the ball. Plenty of time. He'll go along. Duffield should take this. And does. Good mark. Centers the ball. And Scales Howells in front. Burton makes good position to get back. Code can't handle it. He's getting too pushed off the ball too easily. Pike it is again. He's doing damage across the rim. Good onto his left foot towards Phelps. Pushes Noblet out. Umpire lets it go. Arnie Parsons here's danger on his left foot, and it's a good, good pass. Uh, who's that? Got the ball? David Dowdle. David Dowdle. And this should result in a goal. That was a good passage of play there. Nice little push by Jeff Phelps there that the umpire didn't see, but that's part of, that's part of football. Dowdle lines up now. Only 30 metres out, directly in front. Should kick this. And does. That's a good kick. And that... Makes the scores only two go, points of difference. Mike, this is a, a very good game at this stage. Seven goal, five, Tumby. Seven goal, three, Kapini. Can't be a lot of time left in this quarter. Maybe five minutes. How did you not see that push? Bad luck for Tumby, Tom. Uh, Joey Cross just gone off. It looked like a corky thigh to me. He was limping pretty well. Yes, we can't afford to lose him. He had 11 kicks that first quarter. He's a magnificent player. He makes things look so easy, and he gets the ball. He uh, he certainly puts it on someone's chest. However, that goal by David Dowdle has is, is, uh, brought the lead back to two points for Tumby. Back in the square, Steve Pate gets a tap over. New player in Stratford comes on. He gets it to uh, Myers. His, his uh, can't get a kick to it, but he's good enough to get it up. Duffield comes through. Cross to Phelps. Phelps' is wild kick goes down to the forward line. Players fly for it. White comes out with it. He goes to the safety of the boundary. And it's be the young uh, Kerry Warner. Kerry Warner. Gets a kick off the ground. Phelps. Can't pick it up. Nisbet can. He will find somebody. Comes out to the far side or attacking side of centre, centre wing. Back to Dunn. Dunn's oh, kick. Oh, shocking kick. kick that. Goes straight to Steve Myers. Shocking kick. Steve Myers will kick it down and find Steve Pake standing out there on his own. Steve Pake's starting to come back into the game. He was a bit quiet there for the first quarter. Goes into the true centre half forward. It comes out to David Dowdle on a long lead. 
Takes a nice chest mark. Got a lot of pace that lad. He killed us last time we played. He he looks for a player in Michael Maney. That's well sport by Richardson. Richardson comes into the full forward area. Phelps pushed through with the ball, so it's a minor score. So reduces the lead once again to one point. So it's been an excellent game of footy. Nobbit kicks back for Tumby. Nice looking kick comes into the centre half back position where it's two Kapinis players will come away with the Steve Pate, gets it onto his left leg. Nice mark there by Marnie. He was standing in between two Tumby players to take a good mark, and he is probably some 50 metres from goal. Usually a pretty good, strong kick mark. And he's going back for a set shot. Slight breeze at the back, so he should make the distance. Nice kick. Lovely kick, in fact. It's, I think it's split the centre. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful kick. Very good kick from there, Mick. That would have been 45, 50 metres out. Took his time and just made the distance. And uh, Kapini have now hit the front by five points. Okay, he goes! It's he goes! Probably uh, about 22 or 3 minutes gone, I'd say. And uh, Kapini have hit the front for the first time for quarter. Very good game of football. A lot of skills, a lot of good tackles, a lot of good bumps and a lot of good uh, passing, but the ball has been turned over many times by either side by some poor kicking as well. And Tom Phelps is in there trying to fire up his brigade. Duffield against Anton Pedler. No one really gets the ball, comes out. Tom Phelps can't pick it up. Goes into his brother. I think he was hanging on to him, so uh, Jeffrey's given the free back. <laughs> so Tom will like that, be rubbing his hands together. Excellent football of Tom Phelps. Goes up to the attacking side of centre line. Shannon gets it. He's caught with it. Gets a small kick. Goes straight to Morris Nelligan. Might have went about uh, nine metres. But however, he gets it across out to Anton Pedler. Takes the mark at centre wing. Down to the half forward line. Dowdle's out there. No one seems to touch it. Loudon's going to be first there, but I think it's even going to beat him out directly by the point post on the outer side of the Cummins Oval. So the ideal ideal conditions for the footy. Noblet gets a handball, goes straight for the safety of the boundary line and uh, beats that player out Laurie, in well. Laurie, I think it was. So there'll be another throw in, probably <laughs> another 10 metres around from where they threw it in from the previous one. And again, Duffy gets a big tap over the back. He's going to be first there. Tom Phelps looking for a free kick. No. Milky Richardson comes her through. Anton Pedler across to Michael Maney. He doesn't want it. Hot potato that. So it comes off the ground up to the centre half line. In this back there just about. Marnie. Steve Pate can't grab it. Higgins. Across to Shannon, but Martha Marnie intercepts that ball. Across to uh, Kerry Warner. A lot of, uh, and uh, he is caught for a trip and it's play on, says the umpire. Whoa! Steve Pate nearly not got his head knocked off him, but I don't think he touched him. So uh, it goes through for one point. Just unsettled a bit there in the back lines at this stage, Tumby. They're certainly missing the, the services, Joe Cross, at this stage, Tom. Yeah, but they've still got 18 out there, so they've got to play team football and the others have got to make up for it. Let's hope he can come back on later. Been into attack now. White makes the ball. Great play by Steve White. Show them the, how to attack the ball. Code, once again, he ducks his head and drops the ball. Shannon should have been freed there and is. One thing about Phil Shannon, he always gives 100%. As tough as they come. Looks towards centre half forward now. In towards Michael Harris. Higgins stays down. Can't get it. Nelligan it is with a handball out. On the gale, under his left foot. Loudon punches away from him, but Pake, he's doing a lot of damage. Good handball across to Anton Fedler. He's tackled. Gavin Dunn. Across to Duffield. Bad bounce for him. Can't pick it up. Taps it out the back towards Tom Phelps. He's lined up by Quentin Wren. Puts him off the ball. And the umpire's going to bring play back here. It's a bit of behind-the-play stuff. 
Shannon. Um, Cumbie have given away a free. I'm not too sure it was behind the play. And Gar will take a, no, a FAD. FAD. It was. We didn't see it. He's uh, going a bit to the right. Ball's punched away. Go. Oh. And the Kapini player took it off hands. David Dowdle. Tumby, David Dowdle. All the Tumby players thought it was going through. And an easy goal to David Dowdle. Kapini getting away with this game. And now two goals in front. Been a good last ten minutes for them. With uh, Pate coming into the game. And Kapini now getting the ball away from the centre consistently. They've certainly got on top since Joe Cross has gone off the ground, but a couple of moves by the, the coaching staff at Kapini certainly are working well. Tom Phelps in there trying to get his guys working. Duffield against Marnie. Comes to Steve Pake. Well smothered by Dunn. Comes to Crabber Peddler. Gets a high ball. That'll bring rain, that one. Goes to the outer side. Good mark there by Kerry Warner. Warner's kick goes up to the attacker siding centre. Code drops what he should have taken. Once again, he ducked his head. Peddler's tripped, I think. So, uh, captain coach of the Tigers, Justin Peddler, will drive the ball into attack. On the outer side of the ground, goes for short kick. Finds Steve Myers, I think. Steve Myers keeps playing on. Drives into the full forward area. Avoids... David Dowd, a tonic peddler picks it up, has a curry kick, but that's way offline and it will go out of bounds. For a boundary throw in on the left uh, forward pocket. Yes, Mick, they must speak to, about, to Code about uh, ducking his head and taking his eyes off the ball. He's done that three times now, and each time it's, the ball's just been careered straight back down the ground with our players caught out of position. Back to the play now. Scrambly passage right in front of the uh, penny goal. It'll be a bounce. Can't be much time left, Tom. Wouldn't be alright. He throws the ball up. He hasn't been bouncing that well. Good tap back by Anton Peller. Loud knocks off the ground. Once again, Noblet across to Higgins. Noblet won't give up. He try all day, that bloke. Across to Phelps. He runs through from half back. This is what they've got to do. They have to run the ball. Looks for code now. He can't mark it. Off hand to Myers. Kicks off the ground. Richardson is caught. Marked the ball well, but he's caught. Franks it is. Poor handball. Marnie. Marnie tries to mark it. Higgins comes through. Good interception by him. But it's a white blind kick. They're falling down up forward. Julian Dowd is in the half back flank. The Capenny, he'll steady. Wants to look long, but I think that's trying to suck players in. Goes short now as a little chip pass. Good football across to Myers. We know they're going to go the first one short. There's a big long screw punch straight down in the middle. Anton Peddler goes high. Noblet gets the ball. Tackled by Phelps. Wizard in, takes it off hands. Probably old kick to the half forward flank. Dowdle comes out to meet the ball. Crapolori first to the ball and he taps it over the boundary. Can't be a lot of time left in this quarter. Finney leading 9 goal 5. Tumby Bay 7 goal 5. Throw in now, half forward for Capini. Peddler in front, Duffield over the top. Stratford takes the ball wide. Good kick, low kick to Higgins. Mozzie Myers nearly takes it. Kay looking for the ball. He's in front this time. Good handball back, but Higgins is going to be caught. Run down. Yeah, there's no talking there, and he's run down from behind. Dowdle this takes the ball across to uh, Wizard Wren by himself. Left footer. Goes out to that flank. Wobbly old kick, not a good kick. And there goes the siren. And they score at uh, half time. 29 5 to 7 5. Still anybody's game. Thank you. 
At the start of the second half, important quarter in the grand final. Bit of a crooked bounce, Marnie knocks it out. Phelps cross Rin, well tackling the ball, and Shannon's been hit a bit high. And he'll take the, he'll take the free centre wing right in front of us. He'll go along down the middle. Looking for Michael Harris, peddler from behind, tries to mark and does, takes a good mark. Good saving mark there on his uncle, he's standing. It's uh, Quentin Wren on the wing, good mark, under his left foot, it's a high looking kick, Noblet, Phelps in front position, Tom Phelps tries to do a bit too much that time, Fizzer Stratford, good handball across to Richardson, in towards Nisbet, and he was set up, Craig Franks, he's too slow to get rid of the ball, well tackled, Dowdle I think it was, across to Wren, two marks in as many minutes, it's a very poor kick. His, uh, his answer told the story. Good play by Phelps off the ground across to Max Pike onto his left foot. He usually does something with it, but this time it's a wobbly old kick. Morris Nelligan is trying to pick it up. He can't do so. Pressured now by Higgins across to Anton Pedler. Back to Pike. Goes towards the centre. But Duffield drops in and drops what he should have taken. Phelps onto his left foot. This one's going to bring rain. It's very high. Steve White punches the ball away and follows it up well. Good play by Steve White to clear the ball over. And left half forward for uh, Capini into attack against this breeze. White's played a good game in defence. Throw in once again. Noblet in front goes for the tap. Loudon it is, tries to pick it up. Parsons first to the ball. Hand on pedal. His kick smothered by Loudon. Comes to the ground once again as Parsons. He's been taken high. He's directly in front and only 25 metres out. Normally an accurate kick for goals. He's been fairly quiet today so far. Yeah, he got yeah. a bit of an injury, Tom. Yeah, I see he's got his knee wrapped. And lines up now, directly in front. Very deliberate. It's a good looking kick. The umpire doesn't move and that's a good opening goal to Capini. Not what Tumby Bay needed. I'll have to get the next answering goal. Yeah, third quarter will tell the tale. He's going to uh, win this game. If uh, any side can get a good lead, they would have an excellent Good chance of taking out the, the flag. So it's back in the square. Quentin Wren starting to come into the game. Marnie against Duffield. Good bounce by the umpire. Duffy will get the tap of this one. Comes out to Myers. He has an airing. Julian Dowdle across to Wren. Gets his kick smothered. Across to Franks. Tom Phelps. Sits up for him at last. Tell well tackled there by the, the opposition coach in Paddler. Comes to ground. Dowdle pushes out. Shannon. Shannon slips over. Paddler comes in. Gets a tap on to Steve Pike. Good thump there. Up to uh, centre half forward. Down they go. Duffield. Handball. Misses Nobler. Good enough to pick it up again. He gets a handball across to uh, Phelps. But I think Steve Pake's been hit pretty hard behind play. I didn't see that one, Tom. No, I didn't either. It was... Certainly bent him up. Not sure what happened there. Someone said hello to him, I think. However, Marnie kicks uh, out to Phelps. He's pushed into uh, the Tumby players becoming a little undisciplined there. That's two stupid frees in a row. You don't win finals like that. They've got to concentrate on the ball like Laurie did then. And met Steve White showing them how to do it. Good play by him again across to Duffield. And there's the Capini player trying to even up there. But we're back to the football. Noblet meets it. It's a wobbly kick and well taken by Dowdle. He kicks it back forward. Nelligan, Morris Nelligan all by himself. 
There's danger here. He does a little short chip kick. Well spoiled. He should really have taken that loud and clears. But it's, uh, it's an ill-directed kick and taken by Stephen Myers. Craig Myers it is. He's looking towards the centre. That's a wobbly old kick. Steve Park leads to the race of the ball. Hotly pursued by Sharon and Stratford. As Gale's got the ball. He's kicked it a bit too far for Rin. Tom Phelps says this meets the ball. Well backed up by uh, Stratford across to Richardson. He looks for Michael Harris. Should go over the top now to Nisbet. And does. Good play by Kimmy Nisbet. Good pass there, Michael Harris. Burton's lead is a bit... Well, I think that's a very poor decision by the umpire there. He's called play on. Should never have. Call taken by Martha Money. Now, he'll redirect play across to Myers on the other side of the ground. He's backed up there by Peddler. No, it's not as Myers. Mike Myers. Anton Peddler meets the ball. He can't take it. Taken by Kerry Warner. He's kicked smothered. Nobbled in hard again. It's Warner, Anton Peddler. He can't pick the ball up. Very scrambly. Back to Gale. Meanwhile, the umpire's given a free kick for interference. It'll go to Anton Peddler. Out of wing. He goes towards half forward. High wobbly kick again. Punched away by Loudon. If any player gets that out. Wide again. Clears, clears the ball. Good attack on the football. Gavin Dunn it is. He can't handle it. Picks it up again. Handball out. Mrs. Tom Phelps. Good interception by Pake. He'll deliver the ball. That's a beautiful kick. Costa Phelps drops the sitter. He's been pushed a bit, but play on. Shannon in. He'll get it. Good handball by Shannon across to Tom Phelps. Big high, screwy down the, the middle. Gavin Dunn goes in for it. Rove by Craig Franks. And a good kick to Nisbet. He'd be uh, 30 metres out on a slight angle. Normally a good kick. I'd expect him to almost score a goal from there. Lining up now. Humby need this one to get back in this game. Good steadying goal is what they need. It's a good looking kick. Humby doesn't move much and that's a good answering goal. Humby need to really get a go on now and get the next two or three. Good passage of play there. Good handball out by Franks. Good delivery and well finished off by Nisbet. Second goal to uh, Rover and Nisbet. Very busy little player. He certainly had his share of kicks this afternoon. Scores at the moment. Finney 10-5, Tumby 8-6. So back in the square, Marnie, Pate, cross to Julian Dowdle. Craig Myers will get a kick here. <laughs> Round the corner it comes, Nick Maney. Well done, no, good okay. enough to uh, Richardson pick the ball up. Pushed him as he has kicked. Comes in. Pate, good enough to get the ball away from Shannon. Pate, kick up to the half forward line. Noblet there. Gets a handball across to Laurie. Laurie's kick comes back into the centre of the ground. Marnie. Big Ruckman for Capini. Knocked over half the disposal. Umpire not even looking. But his, his kick goes up to uh, Morris Nelligan. Up to Jeff Phelps, doesn't mark, should have taken that one. Dowdle, handball across his shoulder. Loudon, across to Stratford, can't pick it up. No one seems to be able to pick it up. Kick off the ground by Milky Rich and goes straight to his coach and Tom Phelps. Tom Phelps steadies and finds Shannon. Tom Phelps playing a fine game, I, <coughs> I believe, for Tumby. He's trying his heart out, Nick. Shannon's kicked to the centre half forward position. Harris might have got one over the shoulder. Payons is the arm for him. Steve Pate comes away. On the left leg, drills it up to the centre wing area. Across to Gale. He can't pick it up. Fred Higgins. Higgins, been a very good player. Out to Franks. Takes the mark. Plays on. Into the true centre half forward position where it's Big Burton. Just in front of Howe on that occasion takes a solid mark. Good play by Craig Franks. Good to see him getting into the game now. And, uh, good lead by Peter Burton and a good pass. Perth lines up. Doesn't kick the goal yet, Tom. He should get this one. Nice looking kick off the boot. Yeah. 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 Excellent kick by Peter Burton then. Fair way out. And a good accurate kick. 
when they need it. And this game tightening right up now. Good play from uh, out of the fence by Tommy there to bring it right down the ground and finish it off with a good goal. So there's just the five points. Just, uh, uh, five points of difference. Ten five to nine six. And remembering that is the scoring end, so Tommy still take, a, take its toll. Well, well, last week Tommy came from behind, so let's hope they can do it again. If you're a Tommy supporter, that is. Phelps took control of the ball, but the umpire wants to show who's in control and he's going to bounce it again. Couldn't understand that, but he's bounced the ball. Duffield goes for the tap over to Phelps. He can't quite control it. Hassled off the ball by Morris Nelligan. Kerry Warner, he's been fairly quiet, but he takes possession this time. Kicks it out to that half forward flank. No one there for Tumby. Crabber Peddler leads to the ball, turns back in onto his right foot. He goes wide. Warner. Kerry Warner, he's coming into the game, takes a mark on the wing, steadies, good long kick in towards half forward flank looking for Michael House, but there's all Kapini there, well rode by Nisbet, he's looked to be taken high but it's play on, picked up there by Myers I think it was, Steve Myers, uh, Dowdle with um, Gar with a run of the ball under his left foot, Looking for Jeff Phelps, he leads to the ball, hassled by uh, Noblet. Done a good job all day on Jeff Phelps. And on Peddler leads to the ball, he's bumped off it. Morris Nelligan tries to get it, Loudon in front. Should have picked it up, he tried to kick it off the ground. Nelligan goes in with the hands, and that's what happens. Jeff Phelps, one bounce. Tried, well tackled by Richardson, tried to run around him. Umpire calls play on. Nick Mayne, there it is, he's, has, he's tackled, he looked like he was going to get a goal there. Well tackled by the Tommy Player. Back. Anton Fedler takes a good saving mark. Kicks across the centre towards Pake. Very damaging player, reads the play well. He's called play on, he's tackled by Shannon. And that'll be holding the ball. Good tackle by Shannon, he ran at the body, not the hands. He'll go along, straight down the centre. Looking for Jay Cross, be interesting to see how fit he is for that crook knee. Couldn't control that, that's a good tackle by Dunn. Well tackled, well tackled. Great play by Gavin Dunn and a good long kick. Oh, great save there by Skulls Howe, looked like a certain goal. Experienced player, he turned that out well. Cross to Myers, handball over to Dowdle, they set up the loose play now. He has one bounce, out of wing. Kicks in towards uh, Anton Pedler, bounces. Handball over the top, there's Morris Nelligan. Got a good run up here to Penny. He, he cuts across towards the centre looking for Jeff Phelps, but it was a bad kick. Phelps picks it up now, handball's back. Nelligan is, Noblet attacks him. About to pick the ball up, good bump. Picked up by Laurie. There's a bit of a scrap on there. Tom Phelps has got the ball. Don't do anything silly, fellas. He looks towards the centre. Nisbet it is, got a fly. A little man, well done Shannon, well read, he's taken high and he'll take the free kick. Right in the centre of the ground. No leads apparent, Cross makes one now. Oh great Mark, oh, not pay, well, pay on. Poor decision by the umpire and there's a fight on behind play. Back to the play as uh, Gale has got the ball. Kicks it in towards Phelps. Oh, good mark, one-handed mark. Plays onto his right foot. Tackled by Richardson. He pulls him to the ground. Arnie Parsons goes for the ball. He's tackled. Picked up now. Oh, he's paid it for too high. And Parsons will take the free kick. 25 metres out. Right forward flank and attack for Kapini. Bad decision back there. I thought cross mark the ball cleanly, but the umpire called play on. That's part of football. Yeah, definitely a mark, Tom. But uh, umpires in control, we can't do much about that. However, Parsons is going to have a shot from probably 35 metres out. Very acute angle. Been very quiet today. Kick one goal, that one's off the side. And force three for one behind. <coughs> so, Capini go to that one goal lead. Robert oh, kicks the ball back in for Tumby. Down to Stratford. He'll be first there. Julian Dowdle right on his hammer. 
Here's Ned Holland by uh, Shannon. Well done. And uh, Rand gets the ball out to uh, Braden Gale. Kicks it up to the half forward line. Players uh, clinch hands and go over over the line for another throw in. Round about the half forward <coughs> right flank, the Kenny. Ball brought back in. Duffield wins it easy. Comes to Dunn. Comes to the centre of the ground. Steve Myers can't take. Wasn't quite quick enough. Steve Pike picks up. We should get away from uh, his opponent. Does so. Seems to have a bit more time. It's a beautiful pass into David Daddle. Some probably 40, at least 40 metres out directly in front. A yeah, good play by Pike then. He beat two opponents. And then finishes off with a good delivery. Man, it is. Snaps from the right fl flank. Phelps Noblet knocks the ball, passes into this. He's only one metre out, and I think he's kicked the goal. That's a damaging goal. It uh, takes Capini back to a lead of two goals, and uh, Tumby not really using this win well enough in the third quarter, Mick. No, you're right, Tom. But football's a funny game, so uh, you never know until uh, the last quarter who's going to win this game, but no one can sort of get that clear four or five goal lead, so it's still anyone's game. Parsons just sort of got a bit of boot on that one up there. The, so the ball was getting away from him, but was, been, he was good enough to... He's been quiet all day, but he was in the right place at the right time. For sure, yeah. Back in the square, ball goes on the attacking side of Capini. By uh, Tonic. Comes to ground, comes through with the boot. Kerry Warner. Noblet will be first there. Going to be hotly pursued by Capini player. He's good enough to get away, get a good handball across to Tom Phelps. Very good player, Tom Phelps. Gets a handball across to Shannon. He certainly had plenty of opposition there from Wren. Umpire seen something behind play here. Oh, it's uh, Darren Gale gets a free kick. Up to the attacking side of centre, where Jeff Phelps takes a strong front uh, mark in front of Noblet. Not a lot separating these two players. I don't know if uh, there's been any clear winners at this position. Belt to the full forward area. Fisted away. Pass is standing behind the pack. What's he going to do with this one? Snuck us through with it? Point. Just one point. Just on the wrong side of the post. He was certainly thinking there. He was just standing there back on his own. And the ball did come over the pack. And uh, unfortunate for him and to Penny that it just went through for one minor score. White brings the ball back in. Player on his own is Franks. Takes the well judged mark. His kick comes down to the centre of the ground. Craig Myers runs through, kicks in the air, gets the handball across to uh, well Phelps, but comes back to him. Plenty of pressure here. Yeah. Yeah, good play by Noble then. Yeah. He's been Tommy's best player in my book. Uh, there's a little couple of swings here by Duffield and Pate, but we'll watch the footy. They're still carrying on like pork chops behind the play, but they're going to have to soon sort themselves out because the ball's going to come back up there well, it's through uh, Wren. Wren's kick goes up to Phelps, bumped out by clever football by Phelps. Maney doesn't want it, like a hot spud. Gale's in there, thrown out by the Tommy player, comes to Steve Pike. Day, uh, Julian Dowdle takes a well judged mark in front of Kerry Warner. A bit too far out to score, so he's looking for a, a pass and finding his ruckman in Mark Marnie. A bit closer, but on a tighter angle. <coughs> so it'll take a nice kick to get this one through. Yeah, he's got a bit of a fair to sort in this one, Tom, to get it through. Yeah, he's got a cross wind there, but a good kick could put it through. Distance, no problem, but the angle might cause some. Played pretty well, Mark Marnie, in the ruck. He has. I, th I thought Duffy would uh, take him apart, but that's been a good contest, that one. Lines up now, very deliberate kick. It's a good looking kick. And he's put it through. That's a good kick from there. It's Marnie's third goal, so he's certainly uh, done his job this afternoon. Yeah, Penny's starting to, to get a bit of a lead now. That takes him along to 12 goal six. Tumby nine six. Remember, they've got that breeze to come home with, so. Tom Phelps is going to have to marshal something out of his troops to really lift from here to get back in this game. They're certainly missing uh, Joe Cross, Tom. He's not been the dominant player since he... Well, he's come back on the ground, but he's obviously not fit. He's got that knee heavily strapped. 
Bottom's certainly a bit croppy. But it's been a very interesting game. Back to the centre now. Umpire bounces again, another crooked bounce. Stratford it is, takes it away. It's a wobbly kick, pretty hard for the forward to mark that. Well rove by Nisbet, he snaps on his right foot. It's a good looking attempt. And it's a goal, that's a quick reply there to Tumby. Nisbet certainly is a true rover. He rove that magnificently off the pack and finished it off with a very good snap shot. 30 metres out but on a tight angle on, on the run under pressure. Very good play. That's what they've got to do. Stratford's got to come into the game. Hasn't done a lot today, but he started on the bench. A few other players like that. If they can lift a bit, they can get right back in this game. They must get the next couple of goals. Certainly quick reply, Tom. Yeah, it wouldn't have taken more than 10 seconds for that goal. So shows you how easy it is when you play good football. Now back to the centre again. 12-7 to 10-6. Penny leading. Duffield against Pedler. Pedler gets the tap. Myers first of the ball. Can't pick it up. Noblet meets it. Stratford. Wobbly old kick. Rin with run of the ball. He can't pick it up. Left footer. Here's he falls him. Phelps onto his left foot. Oh, well tackled there by Tom Phelps. Craig Franks off the side of his boot and it'll be Myers with the relieving. Craig Myers on the halfback bank for the relieving mark. He looks to the middle. Shano's the only one there. Here comes Steve Pake. Well done, uh, well, well done, well done, well met by Braden Gar from that half back. Took a chance, met the ball, goes half forward. Laurie it is for Tumby that knocks it out. It's a scramble, and he's finally been given a free for too high. The value of making front position and attacking the ball. Dunn makes a lead. He's ignored. He looked down the middle. No, few other leads. Finish up, kicks it to nobody. <laughs> Ball's punched away. Morris Nelligan with the run of the ball. He's bumped out of it. Uh, traps it well. Clever stuff by Nelligan. Snaps on his right foot. Loudon takes a good mark. In the back pocket. Tumby. Looking for a lead now. Brett Higgins leads. Stratford in the middle. Takes it. Don't do too much. Handballs across to Gavin Dunn. He's hot. Hotly tackled. Well done by Gale. Done good enough. Clever enough. Bit of a scramble now, Stratford over the top of the handball to Richardson. A bit slow getting the kick away and the uh, pressure's just forced the error. And it's uh, Darren Gale on the wing. He looks into Jeff Phelps and he takes a real good mark. Strong mark. Hassled by Noblet. The penny player with the run of the ball now. Over Marnie, handball's over to Parsons. This is looking dangerous if he gets around, but it's a good tackle there by White. Uh, Parsons in again, he handballs over the top. Penny player free now. Handball to Martha Marnie. Oh, missed it. And he's missed a sitter. He would have been uh, eight metres out then. A hot spud, Tom. Oh, I think the boys will tell him about that tomorrow. <laughs> he should have really kicked that goal. Just rushed the kick a bit. But, uh, good persistence there by Capini to, to get the score. Morgan coming on for Tumby Bay. <laughs> White kicks out now. Anton Peller is a, over the off hands. Myers looks a bit slow, but he's first to the ball. Looks a bit tired. Higgins in for it. Tom Phelps goes in. Good handball out to Horgan. Gets a kick straight away. Wren first to the ball. Shannon hassling him. Stratford. Good tap out there by the Finney player. Fred Higgins it is. Onto his right foot. Kicks in now, but it's a poor kick straight to Wizard Wren. Not much leading across that half forward line for Tumby. Wren kicks a high ball looking for Jeff Phelps. Knocked away by Noblet, good defence. Picked up there by Anton Peddler. Knocked back, it's Julian Dowdle. He's got the run of the ball, but I think the boundary line will beat him. And it's uh, out of side there. Another throw in. Penny slightly into attack. Tuffield against Phelps. Phelps gets the tap. Brad Higgins takes it, handball across to uh, Michael Harris and he's trying to make rain. And Stephen Myers takes an uncontested mark. On the wing. Back there, Steve Myers. He has. It's a good long kick in towards centre half forward. Grab a pedal, he used his body beautifully then to keep Phil Shannon out and take a good mark. 
He's steadying now, just playing position football, slowing things down, looking for a lead. Goes to the left flank now, Michael Harris has got this ball covered and takes a good mark. Bit indirect that time. Good relieving mark by Michael. He goes short looking for Hogan. The ball's chopped off from him. A bit too slow in trajectory. It'll be a bounce down centre half forward position for Kapini. About 25 minutes gone, Tom. So. Yes, yeah, so there wouldn't be a lot of a lot of time left. I, I feel Tommy haven't used the wind well enough in this quarter. It's going to be a hard row from here. Good pass in there. Arnie Parsons reads it. He's tackled well. Crowd screams holding the ball, but I think it was pinned to him. On the ball! <laughs> Only 20 metres out directly in front of the Kapini goal. Out of bounce down. Stuff filled up. Phelps over the top towards Pike. Under his left foot. It's a good looking kick. Humboy hasn't moved, but it's off to the left hand side and one point results. Kapini leading 12 9 to Tumby Bay 10 6. In a pretty good even game so far. White goes short out to looking for Horgan, but overruns him a bit. Well, well dodged around. Michael Harris handballs back to Higgins. He's in trouble. No talking there. Gala there's again across to Money. Gal, good little kick, but it's a bit too far, I think. No, knocked out of bounds. Horgan came in and intercepted. 50 metres around, half forward flank, Kapini into attack. Jeff Phelps and Duffield. Duffield makes front position and gets a free kick. It's done a reasonable job in ruck today, I think. Duffield, been a good player all year for Tumby Bay. Good clearing kick right across towards the centre, looking for Tom Phelps. He's shepherded out of it. Steve Myers, again, he's had a lot of kicks in this quarter. Julian Dowdle, across to Steve Pike onto his left foot. And uh, well contested by White. He's played really well for Tumby. Good kick. Good kick there by the Kapini player on his left foot, David Dowdle, to his brother Julian. These two are live wire players, a lot of pace. I don't think he'll make the distance from here. He'll look to lay it off to somebody. He'd be 45 metres out, but kicking directly into the breeze. Not much movement. Looks for Anton Pedler across the ground. He can't mark it. It's punched away. Laurie with a run of the ball. Parsons in there. Bit of a scramble. Now umpire will have another bounce. There you go. Probably around about 27 minutes gone of this third quarter. Umpire bouncing at the tree centre half forward position. Down goes the bounce. Duffield wins the tap to Franks. Franks' kick comes to the centre wing. Craig Myers. Nisbet over the back there. To uh, Howell just come on the ground. He's uh, struggling. Ball comes out to uh, Morris Nelligan. Across to Steve Pike. Starting to come into the game. Morris Nelligan. Kicks the ball up to the half forward line and finding Jeff Phelps. Phelps plays on. Uh, well uh, tackled there by uh, Noblet too, and uh, he missed uh, missed the kick of that one. It's been a good battle between these two. Yeah. Noblet hadn't given up for one minute. Uh, they're still uh, having a little bit of a dust stuff over there. I don't think it's too much. You know, I don't think anyone uh, laid anything on any, but Phelps finished up on his backside. Comes uh, Frank's taps over to Milky Richardson. Yeah, loses control. Julian Dowd was there, he loses the ball. Forced out of bound. And no, free kick. Bit high. So Julian Dowd, a young rover, played a pretty good game too. Very busy. Kicks the ball across to the centre man and Steve Pike. Steve Pike drives the ball into half forward line. David Dowdle's first there. Swings around on his right foot. Bank into the square, what's this going to do? Two Tumby players there, and I think it's forced over the line for another minor score. There's Pike doing a lot of damage out of the centre. Each time he gets the ball, he puts Kapini in, into attack. He's uh, very constructive, and he always seems to find space. Certainly Good play. That's a siren goes there at the three quarter time score. Kapini 12 9 to Tumby 10 6. Oh, 
quarter to decide the, the 1993 grand final. Kapini Holder, a 16-point uh, lead, and uh, Nisbet will receive the first free kick. Right in the square, he will put Tumby Bay into attack. His kick goes to centre half forward. Knocked away there by Morgan. Morgan into Murphy. His kick goes into the full forward area. What's that? Skulls how just there? No! Um, in, 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 indicates. I think he had the crowd pretty excited there, but he did indicate it was just touched on the line. Well done by Alan Howe. His kick comes into uh, the half back line. Wren kicks the ball back in. Julian Dowder will mark this. No. Knocked off by Nisbet. Milky Richardson gets a high ball into the uh, centre half forward position where Tom Phelps take a very solid mark. Tom Phelps looking for a short pass up to Burden. Over the shoulder says the umpire. I think the free kick was definitely there. <laughs> I always, been, in, been in front all day. They always have a good duel, these two, Peter Burton and, and Skulls. He's but certainly he, uh, a big boy, Tom. He is. He takes a bit of shifting if he gets front position. He lines up here, so he's just on his distance into this breeze. They need this one. Oh, he's done a shocker. <laughs> what was that? Uh, the umpire's played a, a free kick to Craig Fronts right in front. He, uh, he, he signalled too high. Didn't appear to be a lot in it, but it doesn't matter. He's got the ball and he needs to put this through and this will really liven things up. There will only be a goal difference. He's put it through. Tumby came right back for the opening goal into the whip breeze in the last quarter. The wind's dropped off a bit now. This game is still wide open. 12-11. 12-7. correction. One goal, four. That's, that's nothing. Been a good tight contest all day, Mick. Yeah, it's certainly been nothing in it, Tom. I think three goals have been the highest lead for the day. So it's sort of back to ten points and... And it's still no one's game. Well, it's anyone's game, really. Poor bounce by the umpire. I have to recall that one, surely. <laughs> He's had problems all day, that umpire. Yeah, these umpires are Eastern Air boys. Comes in for his second bounce. Not much better. Tom Phillips is going to take it anyhow. He's a bit slow in taking uh, the um, the umpire. I think that was... Uh, Tom Phelps threw that ball back a bit too hard. The, umpire and the, uh, the other umpire said that's a free kick. And it goes up to Jeff Phelps. He spills it. 
He's laying on the ground. You know, much good on the ground. And uh, Kerry Warner gets the ball. Goes up the centre wing. Players going for it. Morris Nelligan, toed. Toed onto the left leg, straight up in the air. How's that going to come down? In or out? Out on the full, by the look of it. So Penny will come back with the... Just about put it back into attack through their, their coach and Justin Pedler playing it centre half back at this stage. He's just trying to keep his troops together there three quarter time. His kick comes down to the centre wing. Under it is uh, Dale Howe. Not paid. Still on the wing. Scramble. Umpire comes in and says, oh, I'll have a bounce. On centre wing, out of side. Sideway. Umpire to bounce. Players go for it. Duffel gets a big tap. Goes straight to Steve Pake. Steve Pake on the left leg. Wren falls over at the crucial time. Richardson, ball taken from him by the player. Missed there by uh, Steve Miles. It's probably the only mistake he's made for the day. And it comes through uh, Michael Harris. He drives the ball into full forward. Where's this going to go? Just off line. No, still in play. Comes to uh, the forward pocket area and it's forced over the line for a throw in. Probably 30, 25, 30 metres from the Tummy Bay goal. Burton takes the run, goes straight to the boundary line again, crosses there, he's on one leg. And the umpire said, no, sir, that's a push in the back. Bit fortunate. Yes, yeah, so he's got a job to walk. Yeah, across the it's unfortunate for Tumby that he got injured early in the piece. But, but he can still kick straight even on one leg, and it's a good pass across to his skipper and, and uh, coach and Tom Phelps. He certainly hasn't hurt his brain any or Tom, he's certainly a, a good thinker. And Tom Phelps is one of these guys can kick four or five goals in, in well, ten minutes too. Well, so. Even they need a, a lifter, this is the one on, a, on an angle, crosswind. It's a very deliberate kick. And an excellent kick. Now that should lift the side. It's only four points, four points of difference now. And this game is really turning into something. That was a delightful kick from Tom Phelps. He knows what pressure football is all about. He's played in the last three premiership sides for Kapini, I guess, so he, he certainly knows what winning's all about. He's very, very good footballer. He always gives his 110. So Kapini going to have to pull something out of the box here. Ball pounce back in the square. Julian Dowd will be first there. Gets a kick up to the half board line. Goes to the outer side of the ground. Parsons. He's uh, on the ground. Tumby Clara and through Lowry comes through. Loses the ball. Bit of a scramble at, just between the attacking side of the centre line. Umpire says that's comes in for a throw. Bounce down. Anton Pedler, Duffield wins this tap, comes to Nisbet, gets a dribbly kick, comes to Higgins, Higgins handball, misses Tom Phelps on this occasion, Wren won't sit for him, bit high, Higgins will take a free kick for high, high tackle, nice kick to the centre of the ground, Pedler comes to ground, Morris Nelligan, Julian Dowdle, handball to Steve Myers, Phelps, Noblet, and Noblet takes a free kick for a push in the back. Awkward looking kick, but nice looking kick. Duffield misses it. Shannon gets a kick up to the full forward area. Howe takes a very solid mark in defence. Pretty reliable old Skulls. Skulls comes for the Pike. Steve Pike. Through Justin Marnie, kicks down to the centre of the ground. Nisbet, two Tumby players, and Nisbet makes a strong mark in opposition to, to Horgan, his teammate. Had a lot of kicks, Nisbet. Goes up to the centre half forward, Myers. Once again, Code docked his head. He could have taken that, but he Back made the position again, well. Holding the ball on this occasion. 
So the free kick goes to Steve Myers. He's played a very solid game back there. He has. And one of Kapini's better players. Nice kick into the centre ground. Julian Dowdle. Beautiful mark for the youngster. Plays on, gets across to Dale Howe. His kick goes down to the full forward area. Players nullified. Lurry right, gets it eventually. Kicks to the boundary line. And I think we'll beat all players out. No, it's still just in play. But it's forced out just on the attacking centre wing area for the Kapini side. Once again, Steve White played well back there. He attacks the ball. Nobler it is with the ball under his left foot. It's a wobbly kick. Penny player in front. Howl off the ground. Howl off the ground. <laughs> it's uh, Parsons from his left foot. Looks in towards the centre. It's a little short kick intercepted by Horgan. Off the ground. Higgins in for it. He can't pick it up. Murphy's on the ball. Parsons. Handball to nowhere. Parsons has got it on his left foot in towards Marnie. Oh, he should have taken that. But he snaps back. it back. It's out on the floor. Good pressure there by Loudon. And White will uh, take the relieving kick from that back pocket. Scores 12-11 to 12-7. White looking for Duffield. Well played by Duffield. Across the, taps it over the back to Tom Phelps. He kicks along now looking for Murphy. The ball's gone out in the fall. Unusual for, for uh, Phelps to do a kick like that. Umpire has to go and chase the ball now. This player's time to man up. Uh, that's, uh, My Myers, big high long kick in towards Phelps. Noblet in front, he's well on top there I'd say. Tom Phelps takes the ball once again, it's too wide. That's two in a row, what's, what's he doing? Craig Myers. Craig Myers, it is, takes the kick and right towards centre. The danger here for Tumber, for uh, Phelps across the pass. Passes, go! Yes, it's all clear. Bad mistake by the coach there. T -t Twice in a row he kicked out of bounds on the full and it's cost the team dearly with a goal. Penny uh, took full advantage of that. Myers, he played on quickly. Across to Marnie, good handball across to uh, Arnie Parsons and a, a run-in goal. Pass back no. 10 points. Yep. Yeah. No, Tom Phelps, he'll be back in hard trying to make up for that mistake. He's played pretty well all day and tried his hardest for his side. Back to a bounce again. Another crooked bounce. Duffield gets the tap. Nisbet reads it well. He kicks it down. Michael Harris he's looking for. Myers first of the ball. Harris reads it. Across to Horgan. He can't take it. Backed up by Phelps. Runs around one player onto his left. He's pressured off the ball pretty well. Shannon picks up the crumbs. Back to Phelps. Long handball looking for Craig Franks. Now he should do something with here from half forward. Looking in towards Burton. He's got the sit. Takes a mark right in front. Good play. Like I said, Tom Phelps made a mistake earlier. But he's back hard into it to make up for it. And he's driven his side forward with sheer, sheer determination and a passage of good play. And Peter Burton must finish this off. He shouldn't miss from here. He's directly in front, only 10 metres out. This will take it back to four points if he gets this. And the crowd tells the story. A lot of cheering going on. This is a really good contest. Tummy against the Breeze in the last quarter, and they're not giving in. They're showing a bit of character. Well, you're never dead till you lay down, Tom, they, they say. And certainly, uh, Tommy not down either. Well, they've done this the last... Last week, they've done it a couple of times this year. Mick comes from behind. They've got the players to do it. They can believe in themselves. This game's far from over. Probably about 14 minutes uh, of the last quarter gone, so still plenty of time for either side to win this one. Nisbet again. Phelps again. He's in everything at the moment. He's really trying. A good long kick out to the flank. Grab a pedal under the ball. And a good, strong mark. Never took his eye off the ball. A pretty tough player, that bloke. He'll steady. Goes long now. Good long clearing kick way down to the wing, looking for Myers. He's interfered with. Call cool play on. Passing, and elegant it is. Kicks in towards centre half forward. White 
pushes his player under the ball. Parsons falls over. Laurie can't take it. How he gets it. Handballs to nobody. Richardson can't control it. There's danger here, and he's been under pressure. He's almost out in the full. Just kick the touch, you'd call that. Five metres around from the Kapini goal, left forward pocket. Throw in now. Duffield against Smarney to Horgan. Just gets it onto his boot, looking for Nisbet. Nisbet takes, no, taken off hands by Dowdle. Good handball across to Pike. He'll go to uh, Anton Pedler. Looks short now, but Shannon tries to read it. No, good, good pass there, Jeff Phelps. And uh, this will be quite within Jeff Phelps' range. He's a good long kick. This lead seesawing from one end to the other. Phelps lines up now. It's a big long kick. I think he might have taken it to the right. Yes, he has. It's only a point. I'm not sure that scoreboard's right either, Mick, is it? <laughs> I'm not sure, Tom. I don't think they put. I don't think they put our last goal up. Never mind. The ball's kicked out now. Tom Phelps tries to mark it. Picked up by Pike. He's well tackled. Across to Julian Dowdle. Off the side of his boot. Kerry Warner goes for it. Takes a saving mark. Half back. Kicks towards the wing now. Looking for Horgan. He marks on his chest. Unopposed. Goes around onto his right. Looking for Tom Phelps. Almost plays on to Nisbet. He can't control the ball. Bad luck there. Richardson it is. Goes in short. Higgins by himself. Must do something with it now. Tried to do a bit too much then. A bit fortunate. Good handball across by K to Richardson. Well backed up. Good play now to cross. He usually does something with it. Michael Harris. Oh, he can't mark it. In the back there. I think the, oh, the umpire's called play on. Shannon is in after the ball. Bit of a scramble. And he's been tripped. He's been pushed. That's silly play. So I wonder it was at 50 metres. But, uh, Nothing in it, according to the umpire. He'd be uh, 45, probably a bit too far out for Phil. Cute angle. He'll go close. He'll put it right in the square. It's a good-looking kick lengthwise, but it's a bit to the left. Burton can't control it. Pat Pike, once again, off hands. He's played a good second half, this bloke. Nisbet and Dowdle can contest. Oh, Richardson overruns the ball. Took his eye off it. Could be costly, but Morgan back in. Good play. Over to Richie again. Handball, get rid of it, Duffy. Cross here to Gale. Rich, Richardson gave away a free then. It was not seen by the umpire. Handball out by uh, Pedler. Loudon reached the ball. It's Noblet over the back. Horgan, Horgan to it, picked up by Marnie. His kick in now. It looks like he'll find Arnie Parsons. Good tight football here. Parsons almost should have a shot from there. He'd only be 40 out, 45 degree angle. Lead. Taking no notice of that. He's going to go back and have a shot, I feel. Hasn't done a lot today, Army, but he's, he's always dangerous around goals. Nine's up now. He's hooked that one. It's going to miss to the left. Uh, Tate Scapini to 13 12. Cumbie 13 7. It's been a great last quarter so far, Mick. Yeah, it's been very exciting, Tom. About 20 minutes gone. I think there's uh, four points of difference, or four or five points of difference. Not real sure of the scoreboard at the moment. The, the goals are right, but the points. 13-12 uh, to 13-7, the board says. I think it's pretty well, I think close. It might be right now, yeah. Anyhow, the kick in from Tumby comes to uh, nearly its high kick up in the air. Parsons, no, can't grab that one. Laurie. Play on, says the umpire, but it's uh, gone out of bounds <coughs> on the half forward flank for the Tigers. Out of side. Nothing in this game. The next team that gets a couple of goals in front would probably hang on, but that was a poor handball from the boundary umpire, so that's been recalled. So it's Tonic Peddler against Duffield. Peddler punches it forward. And it goes over the line once again. Come on, Tumby! Yes, it's certainly a, a big difference to the last time we played Tumby Bay two years ago. It's certainly a, a very exciting and close game. 
thrown in once again. No one can seem to get a decent grab of it, but it's punched away by the Tumby player. Through Tom Phelps has got it, he's caught. Comes through uh, Warner, across to Shannon. Shannon swings around on his right foot, finds Tom, Tom Phelps, can't it? A fine game, but he kicks it straight into Julian Dowdle, which is, which is uh, not real good. Comes up the centre half forward, I think. Phelps is, uh, I'm not quite sure of it. He seems to have gone out of the game a bit. Doesn't seem to be trying real well. Up to Duffield, kicks it up to the centre wing area, punched forward by Gale. Still got it in front of him, kicks it off the ground. Where's that going? Still in play. Parsons gets it over to the centre half forward, between centre half forward and the centre area to Phelps. Kicks it long into the full forward area. Who's he got here? No one. Comes to ground. Comes out to Loudon. He kicks it the wrong way, but it's gone to the boundary line, so it's reasonably safe at this stage. So out of bounds, probably 10 metres around from the goals from uh, the Capini end, from the northern end. So it's a throw in. Phelps, two Phelpses up there. Well tackled there by uh, Tumby Player. Comes out through Laurie. Laurie, players fly for it. Steve Pake's got it. Very cool player. What's he going to do? He's looked for a player out to uh, his full forward and David Dowdle doesn't let him down and David Dowdle would be probably 45 metres from, from goal with a slight breeze at his back. And once again Mick, it's uh, Steve Pake with his cool head that's uh, done the damage for Capini. Yes, he's certainly uh, he's a bit like Joe Cross, he seems to have a bit of time to, to pinpoint his, uh, his kicks on someone's chest and they usually find somebody too, but I guess that's experience. David Dowdle, I think he might have missed this one. It looks like it's gone to the right, so uh, Tumby breathed once again. So it's just one kick in it. One strike kick. Still anybody's going, Mick. Yeah, for sure. Wouldn't be a lot of time left. miss that, because uh, they could have put a bit more pressure back on Tumby. And White's kick back in, goes to the outer side of the ground. Players hanging onto each other out there. Tap forward by Warner. Tumby Bayer, player and Warner comes through Mick Maney. What's he going to do with it? Out of bounds is the boundary umpire. So the ball is recalled. <coughs> and another throw in on the outer side of the ground on the half forward line for Capini. Phelps. Leaving it on. Duffield goes to knock. Maney gets a small kick to Nelligan. He's caught. Duffield. He uh, shows somebody the ball, gets a long handball across to Bill Shannon. Shannon's kick into the centre right yeah, wing area, but there's not a Tumby Bay play player in sight. So his kick comes back into the uh, half forward line. I think Jeff Phelps has given up. He doesn't seem to be trying at all. Uh, noblet has been on top of him in the second half. Yes, he certainly... Uh, I think he's had the better of him all year, Tom. He's very... Uh, Fine player, that's Nova. Nuller flies the centre half forward pretty easy. Got it again, he gets a handball to no one. Heading for the boundary line. No one seems to get it, but Phelps has got it out. It's time for Noblet. Oh, there's one straight up the front. Yeah, Maney's there. He can't pick it, he taps it out. Morris Nilligan kicked on the ground by Warner. Comes to Horgan. He has to get a hurry kick, pulled off the ball at the vital time. And it goes with Warner for Tumby. He's still there. Oh, His kick is, uh, is uh, nullified by Kipini, but it, it's still oh. code. Gets the ball up to uh, the full forward area. Burton's there. Marnie hasn't done a lot wrong. Gets the ball out to Braden Gale, who's out in the half back line. He's played well. And uh, the ball is once again out of bounds <coughs> on the half forward line for Tumby Bay on the outer side. And throw in now. Cade goes to the tap, across to Franks. He's been quiet. Fedler again. Takes it away from half back. Yeah. Tom Phelps in the raid. Takes a good saving mark. He'll drive it in towards centre half forward looking for Cade, I should say. But Michael Harris it is. Knocked away from him. Good spoil. Hold it in there, Cody. Penny first to the ball. Nisbet in over the block. He gets the kick. Michael Harris under it. Knocked away from him. Good play by Higgins. Handball across to Harris. He can't control it. He's back on it now. Hooks it around the body. Gavin Dunn. The skipper for Tumby Bay. 
He can make a hero of himself and tie the scores up here if he kicks straight. 13-13 to 13-7. He must get this. This is a real pressure kick. He's a good kick. Normally. I better not put the mockers on him, Mick. <laughs> this is a real exciting game. He's kicked it. Well, what a game. 13-13 to 14-7. This is all tied up. This has been a great comeback by Tommy in this last quarter against the Breeze. No good for my fingernails. <laughs> She's really exciting stuff here now. It's probably around about 24 to 25 minutes gone of this final quarter. So, you know, another two or three minutes probably to go. Who can get the centre break? The pressure's right on. And hardly here for the crowd dealing at the moment. Duffield gets the tap. Picked up the ground. Elizabeth in there. Knocked away. Noblet once again. He's overrun by about 10 players, but he's back in like a ferret. Under his boot, Pedler in front. He's been too good since he's gone there. And back to Pike. Those two keeping Capini in this game. Bit of a scramble. He's centre-half forward for Barney Parsons. is onto his left boot. Here's Danger. Ah, oh, that's a good pass. A tonic. Pedler right in front, 20 metres out. A score here, any score will put Capini back in front. And there wouldn't be a lot of time left. He'd only be 30 metres out. It's a very slight angle. Should really go from here. Go on. No, he's missed it. He hit the post. Capini missed a few chances in this quarter. Could it be costly, Vic? Yeah, actually, haven't kicked real well, Tom. 14 points to seven, so that tells the story. So she's anyone's game still. Tom Phelps off the ground. Still off the ground, out of sight. Where'd she go? Another one off the pool. I done. think she's gone off the pool again, so that's the third one Tom's kicked out in the pool. So the, the Tumby crowd are real chanting here at the moment. Phelps has got to do something this time. Okay, so he's in the back. Yes, he certainly had the better of him, Noblet. Noblet's kick comes up the centre of the ground. Marnie, Duffield, Steve Pike, what's he going to do? Cool. Players battle for it on the ground, so the umpire comes in for a bounce. Just on the attacking side of centre for the Capini side. Capini's still kicking with a slight breeze. But Tumby have proven that he can kick goals into it. Steve Pike, Pike again. Noblet there on his own. His, kick goes, uh, his handball goes to Loudon. Loudon's kicked to the centre of the ground. Comes up the... Uh, Julian Dowdle picks it up. Picks it up. Phelps has got it. He's uh, certainly... Uh, I don't know what's wrong. So... Uh, he gets the ball and it goes out of bounds. Right in front of the coaches' boxes. Phelps gets a tap, but it goes to Noblet. Noblet's kick on the left, right, right foot. Goes to Mark Marnie. He marks up centre wing. Up to Max, Max Pike. Beautiful mark. He's going to have to do something with it. Gets across to Morris Nelligan. Nelligan, 45, 50 metres out from goal. Let's see, no, it kicks a point. So there's another one. That's number 15. Not real good kicking today. Uh, once again, it was Pike under pressure there that steadied the ship. Yeah. Been, been a very good player, Steve Pike, since uh, since uh, Joey Cross has gone off him. Yes, it's been the turning point with Cross going off early in the day. Two points of difference. Can't be a lot of time left. Tommy need to get it down quick and get the next score. Duffield taps it across the centre. Horgan goes in. Parsons beats him to it. This is danger. Under his left goal, foot. I think. And I think that could be a sealer. Beautiful goal there by uh, Paul Parsons. We said he hasn't done much, but we looked down for the scorecard. That's his fourth goal. Is it? Yeah. He's dangerous. He doesn't need a lot of kicks. So he's certainly goals. been around the place. But, uh, he certainly knows where the goals are. 
Yes, that's a damaging goal, that one. That's giving them that extra break of two kicks. It's certainly been a tight game, Tom. I think this is probably one of the most exciting grand finals we've played in for a fair while. Yeah, it's been the best one for a long time. Get in there, Blue! Just the wrong sides in front at the moment, Mick. Yeah, unfortunately for you, Tom, but fortunately for us, well, we're, we're pretty wrapped. But there can't be much time left. It's probably about 29 minutes gone, so what's Tom Phillips going to do? He's going to make a last... It's down to the fourth kick. Peter Burton's Big mark. Burt taking a mark. But, uh, you can get a goal here, there's still time, Mick. You need two of them, though. Yes, exactly 29 minutes gone. Is it? So, uh, this one will, uh, put this one through. Put you back to two points. Yeah. Yes. But I'm player in front. Gavin Dunn, I Dunn again, I think, the captain. Well, he'll get a goal from there. He'll still be Early two points defense, behind. Right? I need to get it. And lines up now, point blank range. And he's put it through this time. It's back to two points. It's been a great last quarter. Somebody came from two goals. He's missed it. Hit the post, though. I can't believe that. It was, I think it was five point. yards out. Oh, no. Well, that's a deadly area for Tommy, that one. Very costly. Unfortunate. Powell kicks out now. Kicks it wide. Done in the race for the ball. Takes a mark, plays on. He's on an angle. Handball across to Tom Phelps. It's too far for him. Martha Marnie kicks it wide. <laughs> this game's getting very, very close and very exciting. Must be shorter time now for Tumby. Kay comes into the game, handballs back to the middle. Morris Nilligan onto his left, kicks it wide, looking for Myers. He's got the run of the ball. Tries to run around his opponent, but the ball's gone over the boundary. Half forward, right for Tumby. And time running out. Been a hell of a contest. Yeah, it's been a top game, Tom. Code it is. Kick! Gets it under his boot. Burton's got two against him. Knocks the ball away from Peddler. Good tackle there by Tumby. He's played holding the ball. Yeah, that was a bit rough. He was pretty hot on that one. He was a quick one. Craig Franks it is with the free. They barely need a goal here. He must get a goal. It's too late. He's over. It's too late. What a bastard. <laughs> Bastard period time, but we'll just uh, repeat the final scores. Not over We're yet. just going to have a look at this shot at goal. I think it's one point. So uh, Kapini, 15, 14 goals, 15, which is uh, 99. Defeated Tumby Bay, 14-9, which is 93, so 92. So seven point win to the Kapini Tigers. Just running through the goal kickers for Kapini. Uh, Parsons with uh, four. Then we come down to Mark Marnie with three. David Dowdle, two. Jeff Phelps, two. One each to Steve Pake and Justin Pedler, one. And Tumby Bay goal kickers. Uh, we got uh, three to, to Nisbet, two to Burton, two to Harris, two to Dunn, two to Franks, one to Murphy, one to Neil Phelps and uh, Noblet. And some of the better players are... Um, I'm not real sure. I don't think Steve Myers done too much wrong. Steve Pake played a pretty good game after the halftime. And uh, yes, uh, Steve Pake, we could go down. Young Braden Gale played a top game. Julian Dowder was was pretty good. Uh, I thought Alan Howe probably and uh, Neil Marnie probably didn't see a lot of them, but they nullified a lot of uh, attacks from up there. So. Uh, a pretty good effort. Lucky to get out of this one, I thought, Kapini, because they had a lot of shots for goals, but Tumby Bay's credit, they uh, they came back. But I think, unfortunately for Tumby, uh, their, their big loss was Joey Cross, who was sort of dominating that first half, and he went off with a crook knee, but he was on there, but he was on one leg. Perhaps I'll put you on Tom now for his uh, better players. Well, I thought Tumby's better players, um, my best was Noblet. I thought he... Uh... He broke even with Phelps the first half, and he got, really got on top of him in the second half, Jeff Phelps, that is. And uh, I thought he was far and away our best player, closely followed by 
Steve White a full back, never put a foot wrong all day. Um, Tom Phelps, real good coach's game. He, he led from the front and he tried his heart out all day, especially that last quarter. He really put in everything and through his efforts they, they got back within a few points. Um, I thought they had the best of the best of the last quarter. Tommy Players, other guys played, tried hard. Uh, Phil Shannon tried hard all day. He's a real battler. Um, but on the day, Penny too good. I thought definitely uh, Crossy was a turning point when he went off. And uh, Steve Pake really came in the, into the game, and uh, he was the difference between the two sides. I thought. Yeah, once again, uh, congratulations to the Capini side, to uh, Justin Pedler and his team. Bad luck to Tom. And uh, perhaps uh, we'll see a repeat of this next year. Well, Good on you, Tom. Making their way over, there's been a Kodak camera found in a cage uh, along the boundary line. You see the Secretary of the League, John Clark, he's got it. We've uh, experienced a great grand final. I thank you, the patrons, for being here. I'd like the uh, captain of the uh, winning team, Justin Pedler, to come forward to accept the uh, shield. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Um, I'd just like to um, thank Tumby and uh, their coach Tom for the game today. It was very close. There's, you know, when it's that close, if anyone can win it right up until the end, but I suppose once the siren goes, there's only one person in front of the scoreboard, that's how it goes. But I suppose, like that big nosed buffoon in Canberra has said, this is the sweetest victory of them all. Thanks, Trevor. I'll, I'll get you now to uh, call out the lads by nine and we'll present them with a uh, medallion. Oh, okay. Yeah, going in order of height, uh, number two, Paul Parsons. Yeah. Only made a miraculous recovery this week. He was still in hospital on Tuesday. Well done. Got to give up that booze, Bean. Number three goes to the first year A grade player, Mika. Welcome, Mani. Number four, Stephen Myers. Well done. Thank 
too long.